Second to open the meeting. All in favor? Vote. Carl? Make a motion to approve the following warrants. Warrant 53 in the amount of $19,003.54. Warrant 54 in the amount of $112,569.78. Warrant 55 in the amount of $76,000.86. Warrant 56 in the amount of $15,847.84. And warrant 57 in the amount of $27,132.78. Second. So move and second to approve warrants 53, 54, 55, 56, and 57. All in favor? That's a vote. Okay, approval of our minutes from the regular meeting of December 9, 2019. Did I hear we have an amendment already? Yeah, we. That date's got to change to November 25th. Yeah, July 29th. Move second to approve our regular minutes of our regular council meeting of December 9, 2019, as amended. All in favor? Make a vote. Old business. Chris is going to give us a broadband update and a Main Street update. Broadband as of today, um, broad, uh, phase three has been turned over uh, to us, and so there will be some more addresses that will have will pop out. And, uh, we'll You'll, people who, whose addresses come up will start to receive mailings uh, regarding that, that they can be uh, connected now. Phase 4 is the next one coming up. With Phase 4, by the time that's done, about 75% of the town will be included. So Phase 4 ends, is supposed to be done by uh, February 28th. Phase 4 includes your area um, and, and ties everything together in this area too. Uh, so that will bring on about 75% of the town. Phase five, we're looking at um, South Princeton Road, Independence, and all that stuff up, out that way, and Birch and Spring. And then we're also looking at uh, phase uh, six is uh, Bear Cove, and that area out there, Staples. And phase seven for us will be Squirrel Point. So how far does phase four go up Route One North? Um, I would have to check, but I would guess it's probably you're probably looking at the access road, but I will check on that. But you want it badly. Have your priorities, Mr. Knowles. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. So is it wait, so is it not going to extend all once once we have at the end of phase at the end of phase five. You're, we should be able to do everything up to um, the Princeton town line. Okay, all right. But phase and then phase six heads out Fair Cove, phase seven Squirrel Point, and they won't have a price for us on Squirrel Point before the end of the year. Right. Eight, eight, How come Fair Cove and Squirrel Point aren't both coming out at the same time? Um, my, number of houses and mileage. Because you're going about four and a half miles without hitting one house on on uh, yeah. Yeah. the squirrel point. The squirrel point, though, okay. this way in Bear Cove. They are. They are. I, just, I, I guess I don't really understand how the splicing goes. Like with the. Yeah. You know, so. I mean, you, you look at a, you, this is this whole stretch from here to here. Yeah. You don't have a customer. That's true. That's true. I didn't know if it was just simply yeah, running wires or if they're splicing that whole way. You're getting intermittent customers all the way through. Are they not splicing the whole way or are they just straight running wires? They're going to run a straight shot there with the opportunity every so often of, of coming in. If somebody was to buy a piece of property up there. Mm -hmm. 
there'll be access to the poles. But one of the things is if you look at a fair part of it can't be developed anyway. Right. Oh yeah. But you get out on a squirrel point and swing that way. What is it? Uh, the other part, the other piece that swings off there. Yeah, we've got like 30, uh, 30 camps on houses. So. Mm -hmm. I see that, um, and hopefully uh, people are being made aware of it. I see that HughesNet and some of the other satellite high speed providers um, have jumped on mailing out to let people mm -hmm. know that high speed is available in Babyville. And I just think people need to be aware that's not the broadband. No, and that's, that's what they, that's one of the things that. Uh, the gentleman who's doing our advertising is trying to stress unless unless it's a you know they're running it right to your house it's not broadband right. all you're getting is high speed internet and at a cost one of the things that i mean i'll be honest with you i haven't been happy with is the advertising part of this right. it's been um, they've done a fairly decent campaign on facebook outside of that it really hasn't been much and it really people um, aren't understanding it you know well they don't understand the phases Mm -hmm. You know, I, I get it. I mean, I've heard the excuses of, well, they've had health issues and they've had this. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work. At the end of the day, it's a lot of work. And I just think they could have kept us up through advertising a little bit stronger than what they've come yeah. across. In, in mm -hmm. some ways, I think it would have been better if they released the streets as they were. Well, mm -hmm. released the streets and, and made a big deal of it. Hey, now these are the mm -hmm. ones that are and ready to go. But one of the problems in Baileyville that we're having is that uh, if you look at the phase list, Main Street's on it four times. Mm -hmm. Four Main different Street. sections. Right, four different sections of it. And the problem is there's no way of telling which section yours is mm -hmm. unless you know where that, where well, that grid is. It's the same so with Broadway. Right, it's Broadway, way. well, Washington, mm -hmm. and you know, so it would be in many respects probably easier if they just didn't say anything and when the entire street was done, mm -hmm. then release the street. Right. Well, isn't there a schedule of when, a rough schedule? Is there a way we can get that onto uh, the crawl line? That's on the crawl line. Or is it on the, I, can, I don't have it on there, no. I can, I can get that on there. You haven't been at the past week. We started an action list of yeah. things that we want to see for a following meeting. Okay. The progress, completion. If it doesn't get completed, it carries on to the next one until we can wipe it off that okay. list. So. Because a lot of times we get things lost in the minutes, and we, you know, right. there's many other issues going on. So, um, and then maybe even just like a, you know a reiteration out there on the crawl line that Pioneer Broadband at this point is our sole ISP, ISP and, and, and using and it. Now the question is, would we want to put their rates on there, or would that be? I think it'd be a good idea, personally, because I don't know why Pioneer wouldn't want it on there. Mm -hmm. Well, Pioneer, I'm sure, would love it on there. Well, I should just get it on there. That's the first question I'm going to ask. What's this going to cost me? Cheaper. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a cheaper spectrum. Mm -hmm. I'm over 200 bucks on that. Yeah, you know, the only thing is, some people, I've seen some people post out there that it's more expensive, and I've had to explain to them they're currently three months in the spectrum on a promotional pricing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's cheaper. But... Just Once that promotional on. pricing is gone, this is every single month for three years, their their prices haven't changed with Pioneer. So. Right. You know, yes, you don't have the 300 TV channels, but you really don't on, on uh, Spectrum either. You have 10 of this one and 12 of that one. And Main Street, we're still on schedule for that to go to bid end of January, beginning of February, as far as we know. And, you know, I've got to make sure that I get the state's confirmation that the money is going to be there this summer. We have not got, that's still on their list, but I want to make sure that we have confirmation that that is in fact there. Okay. All right. Moving on to new business, we have a tax abatement for the Spendit Club and one for Alan Slifinger. The Spendit Club is an abatement due to the uh, fall field. Mm -hmm. I move that the Bayerville Town Council grant an abatement of taxes to the Spendit Club for the sports field purchased by the Town of Bayerville on June 10, 2019 per the purchase and sale agreement. Second. 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 Second
Second. It's been moved and second to abate the spending club um, in the amount of $1,150.22 for the ball club that the town purchased on June 10th, 2019 for the purchase and sale agreement. All in favor? That's a vote. Up next is a uh, homestead exemption in the amount of $398. Uh, did he? They, they, did she just miss it? No, they asked for it because they want to get it in Florida, so they can't get it in both places, so they'd rather have it here, so we have to supplement the amount because we gave it to them and we need to put it back. Billing. Okay, we're billing them. We're billing them. Okay. There's two papers there for the supplement and one paper there for the abatement. So. Okay. All right. I make a motion that bid the town council approve the supplemental tax bill for Allen Sleppinger, 133 Washington Street, for the homestead exemption, the amount of $398. Second. We'll move and second to approve the supplement tax bill for Allen Sleppinger, 133 Washington Street for the homestead exemption in the amount of $398. All in favor? That's a vote. Send these down. There's that book, too. Yeah. I think those are both the same paper, but I like to have them both signed just in case you know, they were a little different. Thing. Okay. Up next is the Nook and Cranny Liquor License Renewal. Um, I'd like to have Bob address this before we act on it. Yeah, I cannot recommend uh, the council folks to approve this. Uh, he's had three liquor violations. He personally has had three liquor type violations against him in the last few months. One of them includes a restaurant which I furnished a place for minor. So he served one of his waitresses until she was drunk at 19 years old at his restaurant. So the council can certainly do whatever it wants to do, but I will not uh, come to say that that's a good idea. When I, no way that was an accident. When I no. read, the, read through the application, it says, has any principal person involved in this entity ever been convicted of any violation of law? All right, he has not been convicted yet for all pending charges for the last few charges. There's what, three different charges? There's a OUI, uh, violation of conditions of bail, uh, which he drank when he wasn't supposed to, he was charged with that, and he uh, furnished an alcohol to a minor. Now, can, can we issue a um, conditional till the conviction, if there is? That I don't know the answer to, Tom. I move that the Bayville Town Council deny the liquor license renewal for the Nook and Cranny restaurant. Second. It's been moved and second that the Bayville Town Council deny the liquor license renewal for the Nook and Cranny restaurant. All in favor? Vote. Thank you, vote. Against. You're against, so 4-1. And that runs out of what, the end of the year? No, second. Just so you know, Bob, I totally understand your side, but I just can picture my mother once a year when I take her up there and she has a glass of wine. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're doing that for years, so. One of the only businesses we have in town, and I understand. Yeah. I understand yeah. that completely. Now, he can appeal this decision, I do believe, so. 4 1. All right. Up next is a change night of council meetings for the first half of 2020. The motion is to go from the regular scheduled meeting of the second and fourth Monday to the second and fourth Tuesday. The only question I got is that conflict with the school board meetings. They will. They do have theirs on Tuesday. They're first and third. The They're first and third. So will not. But they're typically not here either. Well, no, I know, but you know, there's yeah. maybe people that want to go to that or have to be at that. Like Greg, for example, Just as a or the teachers. Yeah. Well, you know, the, um, yeah. the question I've got now we've changed our charter to match our 530. Is there any implications with our charter reads? No. But we're fine, we have we're the right to. Any folks that need to be
Okay. So yeah. what is, Carl, what do you think of it? Um, Acacia is going to be going to, go ahead and. The course is going to take place um, the spring semester, and this fellow is contemplating one. I have a course as well. Now, would this just be for the semester? Just the semester. Yeah, okay. yeah, just, just until uh, end of May. Yeah. To the end of July. End of May for me. May thirteenth, right? Yeah. Thirtieth and beginning of July. Beginning. Uh, second week of January. Mine begins uh, January thirteenth. Okay. So let's begin in the first meeting of January. But if you guys want to vote by yourselves, that's fine. No issues. All right, so the motion's going to be to move the town council meetings to the second and fourth Tuesday of each month, commencing with the first meeting in January of 2020. I move the Bayville Town Council approve the moving the tonight of the regular scheduled council meeting from second and fourth Monday of each month to second and fourth Tuesday of each month, commencing with the first meeting in January 2020. Second. I move and second to uh, move our regular monthly council meetings to the second and fourth Tuesday of each month, commencing in the first meeting of January 2020 for the first, till the classes are over. Till May. Till May. All in favor? All right. Okay. Thanks guys, I appreciate it very much. for the fields. Mike's getting a, a second price on, on that. We got a, a price from um, White Sign, but we're looking at a second price. Uh, Ms. Martin was in to see me Friday uh, regarding her property about uh, her lack of siding and, and a few other things. And so she's going to get anything that's out of place cleaned up this winter, but the siding will not go on until the spring. Um, Burn permit, Rocky uh, did some burning on the fourth, but we had, I don't believe that we've seen that. I don't think he did any burning. He did get a permit. But I don't yeah, yeah, well, I know he had a fire this fall. Yeah. There was one over there not too long ago. Was yeah, it the fire fourth of the, yeah. the fourth of December? But why haven't they moved the container? Yeah, because he's he's cheap is what it is. I think he's trying to get enough money to do it. He had said he'd have it out by the ninth or tenth, and here it is. Well, why don't we take it and put it on his property out on the, when we have the vendor put it on his property out on the Ryan Road? Well, an alternative is to have, have the vendor take it and charge him. Yes, well, the vendor won't move it unless he pays exactly. for it. Yeah. You know, well, I know what's going on. How much would it be to move that? I don't know. It's probably, they're probably getting $100. dollars so it's going to go to our burn pile. It's just, so just, I can find out. Yeah, let's, I mean, because it's. Can we, if the town picks it up, can we build them? We can. Oh, we certainly can build rock. Yeah. That no, that's the question. Well, only pay for right. it. I, I get that, but yeah. I mean, we have a course of action. We'll do a supplemental I mean, tax. It, it looks a little bit better than the dumpster that's now overflowing. And but it's not Rocky's property. It's Cheryl's. And the Cheryl. supplemental goes Cheryl. Yeah. Is it still Cheryl's? Mm -hmm. Bob called me a couple hours ago. And that Kurt Ramsdale, that's the next property. I thought it was just Kurt Ramsdale. Well, he gave them the Corvette and three thousand dollars, but he hasn't seen anything from Rocky. We got him the transfer. We got him transfer. Right, property. and that's what Bob says. So I don't know how Rocky can transfer that. So that was my kind of question: Is did he just steal from the guy over the next door from a Corvette and three thousand dollars in cash? So he got three thousand in cash. This is going to get tabled because there's no action that's happened to it. Yeah, but as far as getting that container out of there, yeah, I can let's I'll get the rice in that out of there. And, and we went to Rocky's house 
then he didn't answer the door. His car was there, but he didn't answer. He's been avoiding my phone calls. So when I made the phone calls, he suddenly got his burn permit. So we'll keep pushing on that. Bailey property, he's, he, he pulled some out of there at the end of last week, and he's still picking at it. Uh, he's picking at it, but it's, it's getting smaller. I saw last night, actually, him and the cows, and it was snowing in. The BUD is doing something up there. See, they had their backhoe up there today. Oh, really? I don't know. They're shutting the water off or what. But <coughs> the Campbell property, I've sent um, Andy up to the Campbell property because that's starting to collect the, the number of vehicles in here. Um, chickens and roosters, right here in Washington. We, the ladies brought back her chickens and they have no shelter. And then we have a rooster that's bothering people. Down the road here. Um, that's the, well, people complaining off by the way with the people who have the rooster on their side. So he's been to he's been to that one to try and get them to remove that, and hopefully we can get that resolved. Maybe it'll be a Christmas miracle. We don't have that have ordinance for that sort of thing, though, do we? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. We do that. And they're not allowed to have have them in either location. Oh, okay. Well, roosters, you know, but the chickens, she's not allowed to have them here because she had, lacks the amount of um, acreage. So neither neither one of them is, is illegal. Uh, is legal. Uh, the CV property, that's ongoing, and, I, and, and I'd like to say it's getting better, but it seems to be more stuff appearing there all the time. I think it's going to warrant another meeting with them too. It's going to be another meeting with them and something with a little more teeth and maybe Bob at this meeting too. They might be right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. They're a big fan of law enforcement. Okay, did, did you send letters to Martin, to Jackie Martin? Did you yourself do it? Oh, yeah, I did, I, did, I did myself and she came Because if it's me. getting more rebuilt with you sending letters to these people, then maybe that's what should happen. I mean, that one is down on Hillside Street. It's ridiculous, and that's been ongoing for years. I mean, maybe if it's getting more pull, you. Which one on Hillside? Clancy Harvey. Oh, Clancy Harvey. It's, Clancy's it's more rebuilt if you send them waters, and maybe you should send all of them waters. Or at least send the letter with his signature on it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they'll come by. He can do a letter, but I can do a cover letter that says, listen, this is we're, we're serious as a heart attack. That's what's going on. Um, so CV is another opportunity zones. A couple times the opportunity zone has come forth with saying, "Hey, there's this out there, and we need your, uh, we need some sort of project uh, in two days." Well, that does us no good. Uh, there is one that is pending right now uh, for a forestry project. Uh, it's being written for us. Um, and that is to bring some money in to develop um, down at, uh, well, yeah, either it's already Woodland or, or, um, or St. Croix on their property. Now, because it's already in use, it's a tier three. We're not going to qualify as much as, say, uh, Millinocket or someone that's just lost all their, uh, their forest industry. But we will still, there's still a certain portion of money available for that. And they're writing that up for us. Uh, also, the mill is looking at to see what they can fast track on their end to see if we can get some use out of this. And I'm right after the holidays, now after the first of the year, David Whitney told, told me to come see him because I want to get a boat, ATV, snowmobile place down here at the intersection of one and nine, if at all possible. Perfect location. We have the land, and I'm sure. You know, it would be successful if it was brought up here. Sure. So he told me to come see him after the first of the year once he's once so it's all sorted. <coughs> this is the opportunity zone that that guy came. Yes, correct. Yes. yes. And uh, one of the problems we have right now is the mill wants to do some something, but at this point they haven't, you know, they haven't taken any further steps. They need. And yes, they could use some money, and the opportunity zone would be the perfect place for that. But the mill has to tell us, okay, we're ready to 
ready to pull the trigger. But that down there could qualify too. Does, what, what's that gentleman's name that came here? Uh, Mr. O'Brien. Mr. O'Brien. So have you been in contact with him? Yeah, he keeps calling saying, come on, you, you get me a project, get me a project. And I keep trying to... I thought he was supposed to, to get the project. He's looking, he's got money, he's got the money. He's got the money. He's got the money, he's trying to sh push it our way. We, we have to come up with something that can use it. And how long is this good for, this opportunity to resolve? About another 18 months. All right. Can we... Um, it depends on what the uh, what the federal government does, mm -hmm. but at this point in time, you know, it, while it's it's a no-brainer that what what they want to do over there, and they could they could get money invested in that project, and it would benefit them and also benefit us, but also that pro uh, pro any any new building projects that are coming in that we can push their way. They might be able to get financing for that too, and, and I mean that would be a perfect opportunity. Because yeah, that's that's where you see a bulk of the money go, mm -hmm. but that would be a nice little win in our column if we could get something down there at the intersection. Mm -hmm. And internet. Is that yeah, that's pro no, that's going to be our website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We will have it online in two weeks. Two weeks. Now, are we going to, who is going to keep it up to date? Uh, it's going to, well, the person who's going to be doing it will keep it up to date. We're going to have the ability to make daily changes and, and update and keep, you know, keep it current for us. You know, it, it, might, it makes much more sense for us to do that. Can she send out a link to each of us before it gets launched so that we can see it before it goes live? When, when we did that, what was the... Did we contract a certain time that the website would be accomplished? Because it seems no. like there's a long most time. Of, most of the difference. delay has been on, on our part, on my part. She's, she's ready to go. Um, I did add uh, Duty Free America. Yeah, I, he actually, I will see him hopefully over Christmas. So. I'll be Don't let go of him until we got no. some sign. <laughs> right away. Then right away, yeah. Anybody have anything to add to the actual list? Mm -hmm. Well, the one thing that uh, Craig brought up, I'm not Craig, Carl. Which one is? I don't even remember. Oh, oh the uh, broadband lot, the crawl lines? Yeah, through the crawl line. Everybody. Okay. And I, are they not, are they not, why aren't they sending out a mail? Like I haven't received any mailings from Pioneer. I've got a few. This is not available else. in your area. Pioneer is, is Pioneer has started. If you've noticed the Calis advertiser, it's starting to. It's there, but as your address go, you know, comes online, so to speak, you you'll be getting a mailing from them saying, okay, we, we can do you now. If you'd like. So part of the reasoning was, and I and I'm on the fence whether they're right or wrong. Was if you they say it's ready and available, yeah. and Carl calls them or said gets on their website, then they send back, no, it's not available, but we'll call you when it is available in your area. Kind of their take on it was that's going to leave a, a negative effect. <coughs> I don't know, because I mean, when I heard yeah. Bay Broadway was done, I'm like, I'm ready to sign up, mm -hmm. and then they tell me that Broadway isn't done and there's still a poll issue on Broadway. Feel like that's more negative. In it, exactly. Than, yeah. So, yeah. you know, yeah. I don't. I mean, even a mailing that said coming to your area. Right. right. Something. Something. To something's and I mean, even, you know, even if they really just said, you know, that, that's why I think they should release the entire road at once. Mm -hmm. That way, it's not like, okay, is mine or isn't right. mine. Exactly. You know, they could they could do it here in a, in a heartbeat, but we're better off with what we got through the mm -hmm. school. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas, you know. And the two places in town that I'd want to do, uh, Public Works and the sewer plant. But neither of them is available right now. I'd like to add, uh, if it makes sense, uh, I know maintenance is not the right word, but improvements to the town office, you know, like the, 
the wall thing. And, you know, when he mm -hmm. He's supposed to be have been here this week to start that, but apparently he's... Maybe we should look at some of that. Uh, well, it took, him, took him long enough to get the materials. Mm -hmm. But I mean, not just that wall That's stuff, but, you know, there's other things that... Yeah, we're insula right now, mm -hmm. the insulation's ongoing. They, yep. they finished a couple of the rooms. I think they still have to go back to the police department, I believe. The patrol room's done. They haven't done my office yet. Okay. Is it, I mean, weren't we talking about painting the paneling or something at one yeah. point? I mean, are, are those projects, and I don't, this is a liability thing, mm -hmm. are those the type of things that we could advertise to the students at the school mm -hmm. that need community service that they could come in and do that? That would be fine. Well, you can't get them to stay after school for a half hour. I can't imagine they're going to volunteer for you. That's a great thought. They need, Some their, of them. They need their community yeah. service to graduate. That's okay. very good to sit here and say that. Yeah. Yeah. I work that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to you wanna pick up chairs after lunch? It takes you seven minutes. Mm. No, not today. Not today. Mm. The, when we get to be a senior, the pressure comes that you can't graduate unless you get them hours. You might get some seniors up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only other thing is my opinion. When it comes to painting, you really want to make sure that somebody's not doing more harm than good. Yes. Right. Because if you get paint all over your rugs up here, I mean, it's defeated the purpose. It's time for new rugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's no, after you paint them. It's, it's, it's time for new rugs after you paint them. Um, one more question with the website. Is there, I'm hoping that there is, if not, I'm recommending that there is, um, a Bay Cat tab on there with a link to the live stream and all the information for Baycat and the crawl line because now I know the way that Mike and Paul have it set up, we can put that crawl line right on the website, we can have the live streams right on the website so you can just hit play right there. That has been talked about. Yeah. And, it, and, and my thought on it is A, it's easier, mm -hmm. but B, it increases website traffic. Right. You've got, even if that's why they're coming there, they might, oh geez, look at this, and they're seeing the website. Bang for your, you know, bang for your buck. You want people looking at the website. Right. So, yeah, that's right. I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, because I mean, the live stream's great. People are, you know, the other night I watched. It, there's 27 people watching the live stream, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of them were from Central Aroostook. But hey, people are. You know, and and, watching, and so. with the score, and that's the. That's uh, the they get yeah. turned off early. <laughs> they did. People turned off from the game early. Yeah, the game. They, mm -hmm. probably, yeah, and that's, that score hub with the score down bottom yeah. is awesome. Okay, so action list is taken care of. All right, uh, Christmas party tomorrow at 11 here. Well, next door. Uh, Andy Snowman's cooking it. We're getting a big ball. So come on down and stop, stop in. And then on January 15th, 2020, um, Trio SQL switch, switch over, so after 1.30 we'll be closed that day, so that we can do that. Um, I don't know if you've noticed that the governor all of a sudden announced another day off for all state employees. Mm -hmm. yeah, the 26th. Just, uh, for what? For what? Yeah, they all, they all have the day off. Why is that? Don't know. Well, Christmas. Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Oh, oh, we're going to this month. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hanukkah. Gotcha. Hanukkah. Uh, Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa, yeah. Yeah. Well, Hanukkah's still ongoing, so. Yeah. Kwanzaa, sorry. I've missed both. Happens. Sorry. We have to cam. I know. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Anything else? That's it. All right. Yeah. Public comments, Bob? Yeah. Uh, stop the bus was successful again this year. It, it rained sideways down there the Saturday we collected, but still had lots of help and uh, lots of gifts to give out. We just all about four thirty gave out the last of it, I think. I'm just packing up the remnants that are remnants that are in there, and we'll have that all the way from party tomorrow. And uh, Mayor and Karen helped direct traffic down there. And uh, when I wasn't here, they could get the folks in and out, and it went uh, really well. There should be some pretty happy kids. Good. 
Uh, I've got some bicycles left that uh, tomorrow night after our Christmas Eve dinner, my wife and I are going to plant those on some people's porches that yeah. will have no idea that the, the bicycles are here. That'll be fun. Marilyn? Mike? Nothing. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Counselor closing comments. Carl? Um, just want to thank Mike and Paul for you guys' work with the cameras and the live stream down there at the school. And, um, I know you guys put in a lot of time to get the looks good. running, but I think, it's a, I think it's an awesome touch. I showed it to some of the students in, in my class the other day, and I said, here's video from last year. And I said, and now here's the new camera, and they, they couldn't believe it, you know, because you do look it off to the side, and you can go, oh, hey, there's this person, this person. Last year, you just go, there's some people over there, but it's, you know, it's super clear now, so the quality is great. And I think it's awesome. The quality Thank is fantastic you. Thank you. Last year. Yeah. Great, Craig. Um, we was talking about this insulation boards they're going to put in. It's a good project. I don't know if we should also look at the glass. Because I can tell you that the amount of fuel we're saving at the elementary school, strictly from new glass mm -hmm. and the insulated panels, is unbelievable. The glass in, this, in these windows aren't very old, though. Oh, is this fairly new? Yeah. Okay. So maybe the, those insulated panels could really, was, really help. So, <laughs> well, there was yeah, <laughs> some, something else going on. <coughs> they're, anyway. they're not that old. I'm not saying that they still shouldn't be replaced, but they did replace the glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably, but the, the frames are probably old enough that they they still transfer the cold inside. There's no thermal breaking on them. Those ones down there, one inch insulated glass, low E glass, and probably you can feel the cold against these windows on a cold day down there. You can't, you can't feel it. No, no. So anyway, the the payback on it was going to be fairly short, I would say. So it's something to think about. All the times we've talked about insulation in these town buildings, it does it will pay off. Right, up, right above where we are in over in Mike's office when you get to the top of the platform and above the police department, you look out there and, I mean, in many cases all you saw was the ceiling top. So they're putting the insulation back and then putting another layer of insulation on top of that. So that we should see a huge savings there. Um, the other thing is for next year, I want to do the, the bays, the, the walls and the ceilings and the bays and that because most of our heat in this building is probably going out through that fire bay. I mean, that, that thing's on, you get below 20 degrees and that thing is on almost continuously trying to heat. So I think if we get this, the interior portions, make it so we don't have to heat as much, but then get the two bays uh, insulated, I think you're going to find that we'll see a nose down on fuel. I'd like to think 30% or more. That's it. Steve? Nothing. Acacia? Uh, the talk about the renovations and the energy saving. Uh, what does the school or the town uh, qualify for those state energy rebates? And where does that money go back into? Right now, um, we do not, the projects we're doing, we do not qualify. But I'm not sure if the school projects do right now. The lighting. We got the efficiency main, we'll get the pretty good payback on it. We already have over there. Yeah. And the not, but not school. the windows? Because usually windows qualify to some degree. They have programs that go on. Uh, we have Strong actually the heat pumps at one time in this mm -hmm. building yeah. and and the um, boilers. And the lights. Too. And the lights, yeah. 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 It may be time, uh, maybe next year or the year after for mm -hmm. heat pumps again. Okay. Because we're, this is what, first generation that we've got. Those are LG, so yeah. No, the, the heat pumps? Yeah, the, no, I'm just looking at the models on them. They're LG, okay. so those would be first generation. Yeah. So when those reimbursements do come back into the school, where what account are they going into? What are they, they being used back to, to the school, and then from that point, it depends on what the school does. Okay. Can well, what happens is they are is reusing them for their energy bills, I would think. What happens is that instead of paying 100 and say over there was going to be forty-two thousand dollars. It only cost the school twenty-five thousand dollars. But when we and when they approached us for funding approval, did we approve at what the initial cost was, or did we factor? We didn't in? even have a cost over there at the time. Just a ballpark figure, like I mean, a lot of it. We just had to get through. 
but let's 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 cut to the yeah, chase here. Good. All right. Basically, what's going to happen is they're going to use that money in the renovation side for something. Yeah. It's not going away, I and mean, it's not going to go those, towards yeah. paying their fuel bill or anything. They're going to come up with another project to spend that money on, mm -hmm. if they haven't already overspent it to begin with, mm -hmm. which I'm quite comfortable they probably have. Mm -hmm. yeah. so mind, you could dump another. Generally. You could dump another five million dollars in the exterior of the not five, three million dollars in the exterior of the high school right now. Because yeah. I go with this tip, I think through the siding anywhere I want to. Yeah. And the, well, and the glass in the school, most of the glass is four years for a, a good purpose that, you know. Oh, yeah, as long as it's not being wasted. Not, yeah. Good, good. Well, other than that, I just want to, you know, say thank you to everybody for all you do. And um, have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And I have nothing other than to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, out of your part. <laughs> yep. Yeah, make a motion to adjourn. Oh, town. Second. Little oh, second. All in favor? Vote. Ready? <laughs>